welcome welcome everyone this is day number one for the last portion of this three um part uh training yes so we are going to talk about consistency for one week five days how can you keep going when you don't feel like going if you have a marriage you're married married for whatever the length of time and you are experiencing difficulties there will be sometimes when you wonder should i continue to fight for this marriage or should i give it up and when that comes i it reminds me of when i used to run and once you've done the first 400 meters and you're getting on the second 400 meters i used to run 800 meters when i was in high school and i still love to run for a long time i still like to run now but i'm not I'm, i don't run uh, anymore because after i had a stroke when i used to do the running i would run the first 400 there's energy everything you put in you, you know your pace so you put in your best now as much as you can with your pace right and then the second 400 meters has to be faster than the first 400 meters so when you start the second 400 meters and you're going at that pace that you're planning to go which would help you to finish your 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 reserves and the last 100 meters you're going to actually push in so when we get to that last 100 meters and you're now pressing in to win or to finish among the first three what you notice is that your body wants to give up you're feeling pain in your in your chest your your legs seem not to want to move as fast as you want them to and if you have some other people who have more energy you you seem to be running backwards because people are passing you and and you but you must keep going you you can't stop even though even when your brain tells you you need to stop now and the way we kept on going is by telling ourselves just do the next step now what the next step means in marriage is different it's not, in running we all know the next step is put take use your energy to move that right leg forward and then the, the next one move the left leg forward so you know the steps you just keep working and you keep doing it but when it comes to marriage doing the next step can have a different uh can be different from for different people so today what we're going to do is look at why do we want to give up and what do we need to do so that we don't give up and what how do we determine those first steps how do we get from we are so excited to be with each other we love the, the lord together we are doing good things and to i don't know if i should continue it comes from the hard work that is required to allow another person be themselves it's it's hard work it's hard work and the hard work is not physical work it's being able to accommodate another person's failures to accommodate another person's negative view of you and to accommodate another person's um, pace of growth now when when all of that is put on you after you've done that for a while you feel tired if you are in a marriage for example and your wife is always disrespecting you in your own view when she speaks to you she speaks to you as if you don't matter you 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 she speaks to you like your junior uh your younger sister or brother would never speak to you and she commands you to do stuff and you don't like that and you've told her not to do that but she continues you may want to give up and and women also have the same challenges you've been you know telling your husband uh, let's get to places early let's fix the house let's manage our finances let's manage our health and he, can't, he doesn't care about all those things however you remember when you got married it's not how it started there was a time when you had so much joy being with this person so what changed how did we get here it's because of the emotional 
train just like when you're running you're working your body you're working your your lungs you're working all the cells in your body to keep yourself alive and strong now in in, in spiritual in spiritual things you feel that you don't know you can see the work but the work is going on emotional things yes the same you feel like you you don't see the work just not like um not like physical but you still ex ex you straining yourself emotionally and after a while you can get tired but what keeps you going when you're doing physical exercise like running it's the same thing that should keep you going when you're doing spiritual exercise or emotional exercise. It's the goal at the end. Now, when you think about the goal and the goal is not exciting, it's very difficult to, to keep going. And how do you then determine the goal? So how, how do you know that the marriage that you have now can ever become better? How do you know? that your wife would ever respect you? How do you know that your husband would ever value you the way you want to be valued? We don't have any proof of that. What we have is trust in God. We have an understanding that God has designed the world in such a way that if you keep sowing something, you will reap something you are able to bring the kind of change into your marriage when you're able to know that if i keep sowing the agape that god has poured into my heart it will bear agape fruit you need to remember that you need to know from the beginning that if i apply god's principles they will work. That's why when I say, if you want transformation as a believer, you need to have three things in place. The first one is confidence in God. This is coming back right now. If you don't have confidence in God, which is the foundation of every transformation that a believer experiences, you're not going to be able to be consistent. If you don't have a confidence that when God is brought into any situation, he never fails. God never fails when you when you sow into eternal in, 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 the, in the spirit you will reap eternal life God doesn't fail when you don't have that confidence you're not going to be able to, to be consistent if you do not know God's strategy you will not also be able to be consistent so the first thing is to have confidence in God and if you have been in the place where you want to give up on your marriage I'm telling you it's hard to keep going day by day it's hard to keep going you want to give up sometimes the only thing that keeps you go uh, from doing that is you think about the financial implications and sometimes you don't have it and so you stay a, lot, a little longer sometimes you just think about the impact on your on your children and you look at maybe it's i could i could stay a little bit longer but what many people don't realize is that when the parents are not happy, whether you know it or not, whether you see it or not, it affects the children. So when you are not confident in the fact that God wants a marriage that is good for you, and God not only wants a marriage that is good for you, he ha actually has a plan for you. You're not going to be able to keep pressing on. The reason why I keep running when I feel like I'm dying, it's because I know that when I hit the, 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 the end of the race and I'm number one, all those pain, everything will disappear. And it's true for marriage. If you can persevere and press on and sow those seeds, just like we read in Galatians chapter 6 and verse 9, in due season, you will reap. What will you reap? Joy. What would you reap? Peace. You will reap um, everything that you've been hoping for, which is just that connection. There is, I don't know if there's anything sweeter on earth than two people who love God and are completely surrendered to Him and love one another. It's a beautiful, beautiful place to be. And I want you to know that it's, we're not trusting our actions. We're trusting God. When you put a seed in the ground, it's not your wisdom that brings the, the plant out. 
it's what's already designed. We're trusting that God has already designed stuff and we're going to enjoy it. May the Lord bless you, increase you, strengthen you. And until we meet again, continue to love like Jesus and make mega impact. Bye for now.